Hello peeps, Lord Hyper Sonic here. Today I am presenting you an alarm clock program in C++. In this program, you have to enter the time at which you want the alarm clock to ring. It takes input in 24 hours format and you have to enter the hours and minutes like this. Uh, HH colon MM. That is hours colon minute. After that, it will start the timer until the clock hit the time which user enters. So my current clock is showing 21.18. So let us uh, set the alarm for 21.19. It is showing 27 seconds. So after 20 seconds, uh, the alarm clock will beep. When the timer is finished, it will show the message time completed and will start beeping. The frequency of beep will increase by 50 seconds. Uh, the frequency of beep will increase by 50 after one, every one second. To stop the alarm clock or beep sound, press Ctrl plus C or click on the cross button. So now let us see how it works. For this we have declared an class alarm. In private we have three TM structures ask time to store the time entered by the user, current time to extract the current time of the system, difference in time to store the difference between ask time and current time. In public, we have a constructor in which we have initialized values of all variables. And we have three functions, get time to take input from the user, difference time to calculate difference between ask time and current time, set alarm to set the alarm. Let us see the working of time difference function, function to calculate difference between current time and ask time. First, declare an integer variable seconds and initialize it with the difference between total number of seconds of ask time with the total number of seconds of current time. For this purpose, I have used diff time function to calculate the difference between ask time and current time. So difference in minute is equal to seconds divided by 60. Difference in R is equal to difference in minute divided by 60. And again, difference in minutes is equal to remainder of difference in minute divided by 60. And difference in seconds is equal to remainder of seconds divided by 60. So now if a value of seconds is less than 0, that is if it is negative, that means time which user enters is not in the range of current time to 24. In this case, we will calculate the difference like this and difference in hours will be equals to 24 plus difference in hours minus 1. Difference in minute is equals to 0 minus difference in minute. Difference in seconds is equals to 0 minus difference in seconds. This is how we can calculate difference between hours time and current time. Now let us see the working of set alarm function. Function to start the alarm and print time remaining to hit the desired time. Start an infinite loop and in the loop first clear the screen. After that extract the current system time and uh, store it in the current time structure. Now we'll call the difference time function to calculate the difference between both times that is current time and uh, ask time. After that we will print difference between both the time that is uh, ask time and current time. If uh, difference in uh, hours and difference in minutes and difference in second all become zero, that means time is completed. So we will print uh, 
message time completed and break the loop uh, this is how we can make a basic alarm clock so in main function first i have declared an object of class alarm and call get time function to take input from the user uh, after that we will call set alarm function to set the alarm and when alarm is finished we will start the beep sound it will continue until the user will press ctrl plus c or will hit the cross button uh, this is how you can make an alarm clock in c++ to get the source code of this program go to the link given in the description i will see you in the next video goodbye